Thank you for tuning in. I've been on a little vacation. A little vacation. Staycation? Vacation? Vacation? Daycation? I don't know. This morning, I'm going to be talking about challenges and overcoming challenges and challenges just in general. What, it, what does it mean? Um, a challenge is something that requires action. And without action, there's no challenge. A challenge is going to take you to a whole new level, a whole new height, a whole new lane, a whole new direction. It's going to change you. Now, there are some people out there that might say, look, you are not living life to the fullest. You must challenge yourself on a regular basis so that you can see different lanes, different directions, different distances, different depths right? Different ideals. Maybe, you know what, when you are challenging yourself, you see the difference in people. If that doesn't equal growth, right, I might as well just hang up the phone right now. You have to challenge yourself beyond where you are to continually grow. If, if you are satisfied where you are, I will be the first one to tell you that this is the wrong scope for you. This is the wrong scope for you. If you are satisfied where you stand, you might be rich, have a lot of money, totally comfortable, right? Never had a hard day in your life. This is going to be the wrong scope for you because you are not willing to challenge yourself. This is you. Let me apologize in advance and tell you this is the perfect scope in the moment. I know you're probably saying, Keith, there's nothing perfect because time is changing. See, that's where we get confused because you will hear people tell you that you are not perfect. Don't believe it. You are perfect in the moment. As time changes, things get different, so I have to continually grow. How many of you have asked yourself, how can I be a better person? I want you to ask yourself that question. Look, this is going to be tough. This is a challenge. I'm going to pose a challenge to you right now. Today is huge. This is our resurrection. This is our resurrection. Watch this. Now, it's going to get a little deep right here. This ain't for everybody. I'm going to tell you right now. This is not for everybody, but here's the question. How? can I think about things differently? How can I think about things differently is the question I want you to question yourself with. Because you know what? I got to talk to everybody out here and I don't know everybody's situation. So I want you to think about it differently. If you're having a financial situation, how can I deal with this differently? If you're having physical challenges, how can I deal with this differently? Because you might not be getting the answers that you need. Right. If, if I'm having some mental issues, how can I think about this differently? If I'm having frustrations, how can I deal with those frustrations differently? If you're feeling emotional, how can I be emotionally different? I want you to try this on. I want you to try it. This is like going into a shoe store and trying on a brand new shoe that you never thought you could wear. It might fit and feel a little different, but that's OK. That's OK. We are different. We are unique. And if you're up for a challenge, that's what's going to be important. But we got to identify a real issue first. Yes. You know what? Although we are talking about a challenge, we are talking about you. We are talking about us. How does the word challenge sit with you as a person? You cannot challenge other people until you have challenged yourself. How many of you how many of you guys feel stuck or stuck? I'm going to deviate. I'm going to swerve, right? How many of you feel uh like you are not moving? You are stuck in the same place. How many of you guys feel like that? Moving slowly, I'm stuck. Um I need better results, right? Hit a wall. Yep. Um sometimes uh, I'm not, I'm at, I'm operating at 80%. It doesn't matter because I want to share something with you guys. People will log on to a program, an ideal, something, right? And they will watch it for a length of time. And you know what? Nothing will happen in their life. So they'll stop watching. Remember when you are just watching, there's no action. If someone is giving you a challenge or an ideal and there's no action behind it, nothing will happen. You have completely wasted your time. If you log on the scope and you don't take advantage of everything that's being said today, you're not taking notes, you don't have an ideal, whatever the case may be, if nothing happens in your life, you know what they say, point one finger and three comes back to you because naturally what we say is, yeah, I watched it, but it didn't really change my life. I hear that a lot. Yeah, I watched this person's broadcast for eight months, but you know, I didn't really get anything out of it. Let me get this right. You got eight months worth of information 
times five or seven days times 30 minutes every single day for the last eight months and you mean to tell me you couldn't pull any information out of that let's cut the butt off because you know what the word butt comes fat and with fat comes weight you got to put some action behind the challenge the person that is giving you the information it could be in your school it could be anywhere it's challenging you this is a, this is now a challenge when you go to work you are now challenged to do something either the same way or different every single time. People hire you for your ability to overcome challenges. Why even get hired if I can't depend on you to overcome a challenge? Because the challenge now is to sink or swim. Are you going to sink or swim is the challenge because life has this funny way of introducing analogies you guys <laughs> right sink or swim right <laughs> sink or swim being one of them right you are going to sink down into the depths the matter of fact the longer you're under the water the less you can breathe it's funny because we cannot breathe underwater naturally and we cannot breathe in space we gotta, we gotta seek. That's the balance in life. We've gotta seek a middle ground. We've gotta seek balance while we breathe the thinnest air possible, while we go to the newest heights possible. And I guarantee you, the longer you live at the higher altitudes, the better you will breathe. You will get used to it. Your lungs will get conditioned to it. Are you with me right now? Are you with me right now? Seriously, hey, look, I'll be the first one to tell you, right? God, the universe. Right? You can call it whatever you want to call it, but I guarantee you, you better call it faith. And you better be connected to some. Because that's the only way you're going to overcome most challenges. Whatever happens to you in life was meant to happen. That is your personal challenge for you to overcome. So that maybe, you ever stop to think, maybe that challenge was designed to get you to inspire other people through your life, your story, your path. You ever stop to think about that? If you're out here and you are a photographer, you are a creative, right? And you out here for real, right? Ain't no nets, ain't nothing to catch you. You out here, this is how you make your living, your, your survival, this is how you create your survival. Well, this is the right scope. You have come to the right place. I'm going to tell you, here's the quick answer, because I know some of you guys are probably fast forward up to a certain point. You're looking for an instant uh, answer. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a point because there's no quick answers, right? Um, get a mind, body, spirit connection. You'll overcome most of your challenges. So if you're just looking for a quick fix, you need to you need to run in here, snatch a lunch, and run out. Right? Uh, I'm gonna tell you that you know what? Get you a mind, body connection, and add some spirituality to it, and, and that'll get you hooked up real quick. That'll solve a lot of your challenges right there. Right? Okay. Now look, I am a photographer. My name is Keith B. Dixon.